What's happening, fellow entrepreneurs? It's John Fogger home again, and it's mid-December 2019. So time again to go through all of the terrible new laws that are going to come into place uh, uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, I want to start out by, uh, well, this video, I just want to kind of briefly touch on all the ones that are coming out and then I'll make other videos for the important ones that get really specific into them. So let me start right in. Um, okay, well the first one is the one that's affecting everybody, especially Uber and the gig economy. It's AB5, which basically just expands the, uh, the, the law and codifies codifies the presumptions of the Dynamex case. So basically, it makes it where it's almost impossible for anybody to be an independent contractor. That's, that's the gist of AB5. I'm sure everybody's heard about it. All my clients are in an uproar about it. It's something you should really uh, be concerned with if you use independent contractors. Okay, next let's talk about um, SB 188, discrimination, harassment, retaliation. So um, basically what SB 188 does is it amends the definition of race um, to include things like, um, well, it, it expands the definition of race and the protections related to race for things like hair texture, um, um, certain features um, and including hairstyles. So I think I talked about this in a separate video, but I'll probably get into it again. All right, next. Uh, okay, this is a bad one, AB9. So what this does is it expands the time for employees to file FIHA claims um, from one year to three years. So now that one year, uh, um, uh, that one year we used to have to reject uh, FIHA claims, now it's going to expand to three years. So I'm expecting FIHA claims to start exploding. Um, let's see. SB 229 expands the appeal and enforcement powers of the California Labor Commissioner. Oh, great. Just what we need to give more power to unelected, untrained, well, actually, I don't want to get too too harsh on the on the labor board, but they're 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 overwhelmed. I don't think we should be expanding their powers, but it looks like we are under SB two 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 nine. All right, wage an hour um, AB six seven three. Employees who do not receive payment of their wages um, now have the ability to file a private action for recovery statutory penalties against the employer in a hearing before the labor board, which is new, um, or to seek the um, civil penalties under PAGA, which has existed. All right, SB 688 authorizes the Labor Commissioner to issue citations and recover amounts owed by an employer paid less than the wages earned under a contractual arrangement. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get into that one further and research that one to see what's different because um, it's not clear to me just from reading it. Uh, Let's see, SB 83, leave of absence and workplace accommodations. So basically this one just increases the maximum wage replacement benefits under the PFL program from six to eight weeks. And PFL is paid family leave. AB 1223, um, I don't think that really applies to most of my clients. SB 142 expands the requirements of AB 1976 to provide a room or location other than a bathroom in close proximity to the employee's work area to express uh, breast milk. This one never bothered me too much when it came out last year, so I'll have to really get into the weeds here and see if there's something in here that creates a, a, a bigger problem than um, what already existed since 2018. All right, let's see what we have next. Uh, SB 778, this is actually a good one, finally, for the employer. Uh, workplace training and safety. Uh, that law has been in uh, place since 2018, and the deadline was going to be January 1, 2020, to uh, do those trainings, and now that's been um, extended to 2021. So you've got additional time. Uh, let's see, AB 203, 
it's some obscure one about valley fever, so we're not going to get into that one. Um, AB1804 requires that employers report any serious occupational injury, illness, or death to, the, uh, to Cal OSHA through an online platform. Um, I didn't look too far into this just yet, but my understanding is that that online platform isn't, uh, <laughs> isn't uh, ready yet, so I'm assuming that this law is going to come into place before they even have a way for you to do it. But who knows? Maybe, maybe California will get it together. All right, AB 1805 changes the definition of serious injury or illness. Um, under the OSHA standards, so um, maybe I'll make a video about that, maybe I won't. Um, OSHA really isn't in my wheelhouse. I don't get too many claims that I have to defend against OSHA. Uh, let's see, AB 61 adds sections to the penal code, uh, the existing penal code, which allows uh, family members and law enforcement to uh, file for gun violence restraining orders, well, that expands it to uh, uh, permitting employers and coworkers also. So this is what's uh, generally called the red flag laws, and I have different reasons why I'm, uh, I'm uh, against this, but I'll really get into this one because this one is, is, is dangerous, um, I think. Uh, dangerous to the employer, and I'll tell you why. And, you know, people say, yeah, gun violence, that's dangerous. But I mean, as far as potential litigation for the, for the employer. So anyway, we'll get into that one in a different video. Uh, let's see, AB 51, this one really, 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 really stinks. And I'm really bummed about this one. Basically, AB 51 just makes arbitration agreements essentially useless. So what it does is it effectively bans mandatory arbitration agreements and prohibits employers from requiring applicants or existing employees to waive any right, form, or procedure for any employer. So, uh, uh, employer violations of FIHA or the labor code. So basically what this does is basically takes away an employer's right to agree with their employee to um, have uh, disputes heard in arbitration. Uh, it really stinks. It basically does away with arbitration agreements. So now what would cost a third is going to cost whatever it costs to, to, to litigate these claims. Uh, all it does is put a, a gun to employers' heads and, and force them to settle even claims that um, um, are nonsense. Anyway, I, I'm not going to get into it in this video, but this is one I really want to rail about, so already got me going. Uh, let's see, SB 707 um, adds multiple sections of the Code of Civil Procedure requiring employers uh, to pay certain fees and costs before an arbitration may proceed. That already existed, so um, I'm just assuming that once I get into the weeds here, it's just going to be pay even more money um, uh, you know, than you're already required to pay. Let's see, AB 749. Uh, this is another one that I just I, I just don't understand this. Is, is, is the goal to put people out of business? I, I just don't get it. AB 749 prohibits an agreement to settle an employment dispute from containing a provision that um, prohibits, prevents, or otherwise restricts a settling party or a grieved person um, uh, to continue working for the company. This is absolute nonsense. Hey, you just sued me, but come back. Let's let's go to the Christmas party together. I, I, I just don't understand this. Just absolutely insane. All right, now AB 25, privacy. This one is actually a pretty good one. Um, basically, this relates to the, uh, the California Consumer Privacy Act, and it just requires employers to <coughs> give the same privacy requirements to applicants and their employees when they have you know, those records. So that one is not too bad. And that's the last one on this list. Um, I'll go through and I'll pick out which ones I really want to really do a deep dive into. But come on, everybody out there, quit quit voting for these clowns that are ruining your business. It, it really, really, really is up to you. And I know that um, uh, we don't have 
many great choices out there, but there are certainly people better than, and I'm sorry to say it, I, I know some of you love Gavin Newsom. The guy's a menace to businesses, and he's driving businesses out, out of uh, California. I, I hate to be political on, on these videos, but it just is the absolute truth. All right, so until next time, um, get out there, be productive, keep your heads up. I know this is bad news, but huh, that's most of these videos, right? All right, everybody, thanks a lot.